Hey guys, I'm Lenny, and I'm still alive. Uh, I guess barely. I've collected quite a few injuries, but uh, today I'd like to show you what I've made. You need to be really quick. Uh, there's gonna be a rabbit in a trap, and he's gonna move towards the trap, and he's gonna get killed. Uh, so uh, I have introduced a snare trap into the game. The graphical part is still in. I guess a work in progress, um, but there's like a branch, another branch, another branch, one more branch right here, which is not really easy to see, and there's a carrot in there. Um, you need a rope, branches, and one carrot to uh, build it, and when you've built it, um, it attracts rabbits, uh, nearby rabbits, I must say. So there's quite a random factor to it. Uh, the rabbit needs to be um, like 200 pixels um, far from it in order to be lured towards it. And when it's being lured towards it, um, he's just gonna ignore everything and he's gonna focus on that carrot. He needs that carrot. So um, when he grabs that carrot, he's gonna die. And uh, the trap has a chance to leave some stuff behind. Um, there's one third chance to leave a branch, the same chance for a rope and the same chance for nothing. So um, in my first try there was nothing left behind, in this try there's a branch and in the next try there might be rope or whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, I have added rope into the game. Um, it's made out of grass, so it's like um, stronger, tougher than just a regular grass used for uh, simple tools. Alright, um, I tried to work on pathfinding, but I still haven't found a decent solution for my case, because um, I was thinking about implementing a star pathfinding, but I don't have a grid that I could use. Uh, my my objects are not on any grid, uh, and a star pathfinding is best used for grid-based games. So I could come up with some weird solution where I would really have to improvise um, building custom grid. Or there are solutions for pathfinding using mesh maps or whatever and triangulation and other fun stuff that I didn't really want to get into. So, so far there's no pathfinding in the game, but I'm still thinking about it. Right now I want to tackle some easy tasks like building a snare trap and killing rabbits. Uh, one thing to note right now in the game loop I don't think uh, any animals are moving around the map if I can see them. So I'll have to update that because you need to move uh, everything in the game in order to trigger those traps. So that's gonna be a little bit uh, tougher when you're going through the loop and each loop you have to you have to move all the animals. Luckily it's not that hard and well, let me, let me show you how it works. So in the game loop, in the update part, somewhere around here, I check for animal triggers. Um, what that means is the um, player can get closer to the animal and that triggers a response or the animal gets uh, closer to a trap and that triggers a response. So for the trap part, I just detect that right here, that the animal is uh, nearby, well, close enough to the trap, so it's gonna be lured to the trap, and uh, it triggers some sort of a response, and that response is based on the object passed through here. If it's a trap, if it's a snare trap and a rabbit, well, the, the animal class which I'm in is a rabbit, and the target is snare trap, it triggers a specific response for that kind of trap and I'm gonna build on that and create many more or a lot, lot more um, traps and animals. 
So I'm gonna catch all the responses right here. And um, all right, if the if the distance is close enough uh, for the trap to trigger, it kills the animal. And now there's kind of a trick or a warning here. Um, if I were to remove the trap right here while going through the um, through the loop here, I would be removing the the object from inside the loop, and uh, that would trigger an exception. That's the commodification exception. So I'm kind of collecting all the triggered traps here. That's right here. I just flag the trap as triggered. And that's it. I cannot remove it right here. But if I do that, uh, I can later on just remove it right here. I collect all the trigger traps uh, down here and then remove them. That will not trigger the commodification because you cannot remove the same object you're iterating over in the same uh, array list or collection. That's just a um, fun thing. <laughs> and. Um, I'm also slowing the animal down, I think. I'm not sure actually, I think. Yeah, fleeing is the fastest, fighting is the is slower. Yeah, so I slow the, the animal down and it slowly moves towards the snare trap until it reaches it. I'm using this um, trajectory helper thingy that helps me to like pre-calculate each step the animal has to take in order to reach its goal. The distance between each step is uh, affected by the movement speed or the movement step here. And the rest is just... Um, that just flips the, the, graf the graphical part in order to like show the animal moving towards a certain uh, area, certain... Yeah, whatever. You you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm just running out of words. Um, it's been a while that since I've talked English in English. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Um, so once again, in this test case, the animal is close enough for the trap to trigger immediately. So, and there we go, a dead rabbit. I was thinking about uh, rendering the trap like broken and then you just have to repair it. Um, but I think this is better because I'd like to like move the trap uh, somewhere else. But if I don't... Um, never mind. <laughs> I got lost again. Um, so that's the snare trap. Um, What's next? I have no idea. Um, I've been tackling with a lot of injuries lately and um, seems like <laughs> I have a dead death wish because I hurt myself a lot during sports or workouts or whatever and some of the stuff is not actually healing well so uh, I might actually have to go to the doctor which I'm trying to avoid but it's been, it's been a few months uh, and my leg is not healing at all, so I need to, I guess I need to go to the doctor. And I can barely hold my mouse right now because I kind of injured my wrist as well. But hey, uh, I'm alive, I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm fucked up, but alive. <laughs> so see you guys next time.